<laughs> Please welcome the delightful Nikki Blonsky. <laughs> Um, that, that you were under five feet. Yeah, I'm four foot ten. Four feet ten? Yes. <laughs> it's good. What size shoe do you wear? Oh, these are a six. These are Giuseppe Zanotti for Steve and Dan. Oh, fabulous. <laughs> I like your dress. I like your outfit. Thank Everything. you. This is Torrid, which is an amazing plus size clothing line. For oh, yeah, we know them. Plus size ladies. Yeah, we know them. And so congratulations on the huge success of your show, Huge. Thank you so much. I mean, it's just, just wonderful. It's the first show, everyone, with an all-plus-size cast. It's about time. Am I right or am I wrong? And, and it takes place at a weight loss camp for teens, you know, during the summer. Uh, what are your thoughts in real life uh, of, of a weight loss camp? Well, I think if the child goes to the parent and says, I really heard about this camp, I really want to go, it's something that I, I really want to do, I want to lose weight this summer, I think that's great if, yes. it's, if it's promoted by the child. But if a child it gets it from the parents and the parents say, you know, I think you should go to this weight loss camp, I think it could be a, a double-edged sword. It's hard. Because then you're kind of sending a message to your child where the child might be saying, Am I not good enough for them? Do they not like me? And that's what my character is struggling through. That's kind of why she's so bitter in the show. Her parents um, sent her to the weight loss camp to lose the weight and the, to be perfection visually like her parents are. In the meantime, she's got a suitcase full of all the best stuff, licorice, potato chips, and <laughs> selling it. Everything, everything. I love your show. You know, Haley Hasselhoff was here. She's one of the stars on the show also. Yeah. And I just love the whole thing about, you know, being proud, embracing curves. You wore a bathing suit for the show's promo. Take a look at this ad. There you are. <laughs> That's good. Now, you have something that a lot of us, and I say us because I think, you know, once you were a fat kid, you know, or a fluffy kid or whatever you want to call it, you always, even, Big as, bone. A, even as an adult, even as, a, as an adult, it never mentally goes away. You know, I had a number done to me, um, which I'm over, but I still talk about it. And I, um, I find that I did not get, okay, any support from my parents when I was younger regarding my weight. I was taller, I was bigger and the whole bit, but I just met your mom, Karen, who, you know, hi, Karen, how you doing? I love you, how you doing? I love you too. <laughs> and you're mother is so fun and lovable Isn't she cute? It, and you so you still you still live out on great ne neck long island where you are with your um with your family i do i'm still representing long island strong but, <laughs> <laughs> but nikki here's the thing you're 21 yes and you did spend some time out in hollywood to do a little bit of uh you know work yeah. while you're out there do you feel uh, weight discrimination? Absolutely. There's always people telling me, lose weight or you won't get a role or, you know, and it's just like, who are you? It's like, I am going to live my life for me. Don't tell me what to do. Yeah. It's like, if I lost weight, I probably wouldn't have gotten Will and Huge or Tracy Turnblad. So that would have been two bummers. Case closed, people. Exactly. So case closed. This yeah. isn't going anywhere. And it's so <laughs> silly. <laughs> Take it or leave it. How is your love life? I mean, you're only 21, and I'm not trying to rush you, but, you know, do you date? Are you in love? I have to. I feel we're close now. We've been on the couch, what, through two minutes? Yes. Um, <laughs> I feel we can discuss this. Okay. It is an issue. Yeah. It is. Seriously, I can catch a fish quicker than I can catch a man. What, what is going on? I'm putting you on a mission. But you have to put yourself out there. I put myself out there. Do, I mean, do you do you go places where men are, like car shows, boat shows, sometimes the club? I, I don't. I'm not a club person oh. per se. I I, I, just, I don't know. It's just not for me. Yeah. I mean, why can't they come to my house and knock on my door? Out, out in great like the old-fashioned way. Hello, yeah. Mrs. Blonsky. I'm here to see Nikki. Exactly. <laughs> it's like start taking numbers. All right. So now hairspray, which was a big breakout role for you. cast everybody including Queen Latifah and John Travolta and Zac Efron. <laughs> do you keep in touch with any of those people? I do. I do. I keep in touch with all of them actually. Um, Zac is one of my best friends <gasps> in the whole world. Okay, let me ask you something. Okay, let's get serious now. 
Do you think that he and Vanessa will go the distance and get married? Not yet, just eventually. No. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, D. Wait. Love you, girl, but it ain't happening. <laughs> it's just you want the truth. This is the truth. I'm sorry to hear that, too. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, Hollywood. I know him real well. <laughs> I love him real well. But... Oh, you're a good, funny girl. Zac Efron. She's angling. Well, it was really nice to meet you. And since you're right around the corner in Long Island, please come back. You know, Absolutely. You Thank are, you for having me. You're a really nice young woman. And I, I love your new show. It's called Huge, Everybody. It comes on Monday nights at 9 on the ABC Family Channel.